I've, for the past 12 years, I've operated a congestive heart failure clinic at Scripps Mercy Hospital and started noticing an increasing number of our patients were patients with chronic meth use. And we actually said, well, let's see how, how, how much of this is in our clinic. And it was, it was greatly increasing. So then we looked at the whole hospital. Scripps Mercy has uh, you know, thousands of hospital admissions per year. And we thought, let's look at, uh, at the methamphetamine-associated uh, heart failure at Scripps Mercy Hospital over a, a six-year period. And we found that uh, threefold increase in the number of patients with heart failure due to meth use. No increase during the same period of time of alcohol use associated heart failure or cocaine use associated heart failure. So it's all meth. fascinating that that cumulative effect can lead to irreversible damage to the heart with scar and uh, the, the basically patients do not recover. They, they end up dying of their heart failure. But what's quite fascinating is that if patients who have fairly advanced heart disease due to methamphetamine use stop using over a period of weeks to months, they get better. And some of those people, when they remain abstinent, when they remain sober, actually develop re complete reversal of their heart disease, both by measure of the contraction of their heart and also by their symptom status. The bottom line, I think, and the most important message, aside from the fact that we are seeing a, a dramatic in increase in the prevalence of methamphetamine-associated heart disease, about a threefold increase over a six-year period uh, at our hospital, and I think that's mirrored in the county statistics. But in addition, I think the important message is that uh, patients who, that individuals who use meth should understand that uh, if they continue to use, they will get sicker and likely die from their use and from their disease. And if they stop using, they can get dramatically better and really recover to have a normal life. Uh, we're absolutely willing and uh, able to help treat patients with methamphetamine-associated heart disease, and that uh, we, we really need to consider this a, a critical uh, city, county, and nationwide problem.